woodworking with Belsif. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing? Hopefully everybody's having a good day. Just finished having a nice little rain here we did. So that helped the grass grow. Now I gotta pull the John Deere. Cut the lawn soon. Figuring right I do. Holy, I gotta trim that friggin' nightmare of a bush lead too. I did get some new parts for the John Deere. Just so everybody knows, I went out and I, I just, I hit it. I bought all the tensioner pulleys for the uh, drive belt because it was noisy and I want to stop it from getting noisy. So we bought all them, so we're going to do that soon. Got myself an oil filter for the next oil change for the old engine rooski there. But other than that, that's the update on that and the weather, I guess. This thing here that I'm working on now is the uh, seat for the golf cart. Now it turns out that this is rotten, so I can't really use it. I'm gonna have to cut a new piece for the bottom of the seat because it's no good if it's rotten. You know what I'm saying? Probably not, but just in case you don't, that's what I'm saying. It's no good if it's rotten. So we're gonna trace this out and we're gonna cut her out. And we got a few things we gotta do. We gotta knock out these and put a couple new friggin' doodads in it and whatnot. I think I bought two big ones. I went to Home Depot and bought some new they're called uh, wood faster nuts. These ones are pretty wore out. So we went out and I got ourselves some new ones. Okay, that's what they look like. They go into the wood and they make it so you can bolt it up and those are definitely bigger than the factory ones. But that's okay. Bigger is better. Sometimes. Friggin' right it is. So let's get this traced up and then we'll uh, cut her up. See if we can't get up. Better not for the price of that piece of wood. $31.95 plus tax for Five eighths, four by two, 24 by 48. I'll, I'll talk here in a minute. Let me work on it. I'll get it out. Don't worry. So that's how much that was, which is ridiculous. Now it's got some holes in it and I'm pretty sure that's just to breathe. So we'll put some holes back in it just so it can breathe. You can hear the thunderstorm out there. Wait, yeah. So there we go. There's my pattern. So what we're gonna do now is get out the old Porter cable jigsaw and see if we can't cut it out of a piece of wood. And then we'll have to sound the edges so they're nice and smooth. Jim, how you guys been anyways? Everybody been good? Hopefully you have. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel. This is what I do, I do whatever the hell I feel like doing. So I'm glad you're here to have a gander. Let me put you over here on the table. No, let me put you over here on the workbench. No, let me put you over here on a drawer. Are you too high or are you good there? Can you see? All you're gonna see is my balls. Frig. Oh well, hey, at least you can see what I'm doing. So let's cut this. Remember, stay inside the line. Why wouldn't you? Oh. See? That goddamn dog keeps getting out of the garage. pretty good for that. If I can find it in my absolute total disaster zone. So let's make some more noise. We're running 100 PSI in the old tank today. We're not going crazy with it, just 100 PSI.
Larry. <sighs> Look at that side of the wood. It's just decked. <laughs> Look at it. Rotten. So now that we're done that, I was just hammering up those other things we were talking about earlier there, if you're wondering what we are doing. So that's all done. So now we gotta put this back on there. Oh, and I was gonna mention, the reason why I sand the edges is because you don't want it to rip the material, the new material we're putting on this thing. And if it rips it, it's no goody. No goody at all. -y. So that's why I was doing that, if you're wondering. So there we go. So now that that's done, we can take a drill and we can drill where these holes are, if you know what I'm saying. Now I know these ones are a little bigger, so I'm gonna go with that one right there. And then we'll be able to zing right through. And this is how you make it so you don't have the wrong size hole skis. So I'll put that there. This is what holds the handles on. Anyways, wondering. Is it? Turn around. Perfect. So now I need smaller ones for those holes. You might as well do them all. And I'll just use a little drill bit for this one. You don't want to make these holes too big. So just, just use the smallest drill bit you have, okay? Doesn't have to be big. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, Freaking right we did. Oh. Look at that. Just blows through it. That's mint. There we go. Yeah. So that's done. Now that's done, we can lift this off. And we'll have all the holes we need. Now, I don't know if these are going to be big enough. Because like I said, the ones I got, they're a little bigger. What do you do with them? Anybody know? Probably not, because I don't. Well, here they are. These ones, they're a little bigger than the stock. So we're going to have to go up one more hole size on them, we do. I don't want this thing to fall apart, so I'm going bigger. That's it, right there. Ooh. 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 Yeah, we do. Yeah, so there we go. That's done. They don't even make plywood like they used to anymore. Look at this stuff. It's all just flaking apart. What's really going on? Anyways, so there we go. So now these should go in. They sure do. So we can just get these started. Now these things were only 60 cents a piece, so they're not bad. You know, not bad at all. Careful. So there you go. Once you have them started, unplug some cords, move some stuff, and put it on the ground. And we'll just pound the hell right out of it. Maybe we'll just give it full Monty. What do I do with my hammer? Anyone know? Did you see what I do with that hammer? Probably not. Nope. 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 Really? Nope. 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 Wow. How the f did I lose a hammer that fast? Here it is, right where I left it. So what we want to do is you have to take these and just Pound them in, Jim. Careful. Perfect. So there you go. Now we have our holes mounted for the screws. <sighs> okay. Ah. This here is a top. Top. Sit here. Yeah, that was right. Seat here. There we go. Okay. Seat here. Nothing like getting spelling up on camera. Only I can do that. So hope you enjoyed that. So now that we're done that, we gotta take our drill bit and drill some vein drains, vents, foam vents, which I can understand. Oh, did you, did you see my seat cover? Look at it. Oh, decent. Try to give you a sneak peek of that. Anybody wanna buy this cart when I'm done? Six grand, just so you know. Should be mint, though. I'm not selling garbage here. This thing's gonna be mint. You gotta see the headlight kit, I'll show you later. It turned out pretty good, I didn't finish up the other video, and I apologize, but I did finish them, and I wanna go over the wiring with you on that. So leave me a comment down below if you wanna see that, because I like to show you that kind of stuff, and I can't find my fucking damn pin. Holy These are no good, they keep tripping over them. There, now I can't trip over them. Where the is that gone? No, oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. My step bit. Now these aren't really made for wood, but we're gonna give her a try. Here we go. Just so you know, they work great for wood. Do they ever, Captain? Decent. There we go, flip it over, do the same on the other side, and that can work same thing. All right, so there's my veins. Just stick the tip in. They're just the tips of where those holes are. 
Gonna get a splinter yet before I'm done. All right, so there we go. So that's how you redo a pattern for one of your seats. They're just dicked over and rotten. You know, it doesn't have to be 100%, but it has to be close. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you did. We're gonna get this cover put together and see how it looks. And we'll have to go from there because we gotta put the stereo on this thing still and we still got a pile of work to do. I gotta paint that frame for the roof. I got the roof in the back garage because it's raining out right now and we painted it blue too to match the cart. Why wouldn't I? And I had to order some more plexi coat. Now, if anybody's wondering, that's what I'm painting the cart with right there. So if anybody buys this cart and they don't like the color, you just gotta tear it off and go whatever color they want. They have the body repainted. So there you go. I'm in the middle of tapping that hole out because it was stripped, so I have to tap that. We're gonna get to this, see if it fits. Go from there, I gotta do a little bit of foam repair. I got a little mark in the foam. So I gotta get a little bit of three, uh, 3M glue there and get that stuck and fabricated back together. But this, this cover is really tight. I'm hoping it's the right one. I was actually thinking about calling the company I got it from and making sure before I go stretching the shit out of it because I think it might rip when I'm doing it, but we'll have to freaking see. I'm glad you're all here. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And don't forget to leave me any comments down below and let me know what you think because I always like that. Love you all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.